Vision of Motion was, of course, originally called uh, Vision 2010 as a project. Uh, the timing of that project for us really uh, relies on the completion of the Port Up Area Initiative project. Um, and so our timing is directly linked to the opening of that long-term waste management facility. Happy to say that facility is now open. Our project is underway. Uh, it's been underway uh, in earnest for a couple of years now. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do, but we're really happy to have that project underway and, and in motion today. We started uh, some public consultation uh, in around 2005, 2006, uh, when, when we uh, hired a consultant, helped us with some of the early consultation, talked to uh, hundreds of, of people in the community at that time. That's also around a similar time that the municipality was undergoing a, a waterfront master plan uh, development. Um, and, and so we worked very closely with the municipality to make sure both plans were aligned. Getting the feedback from the municipality and the community was very important uh, from the very beginning of this project. So uh, as far back as around 2005, 2006, uh, we began uh, consulting with the community to get feedback, to get ideas of what's, what priorities, what's important to, uh, to the community and to the municipality, the representatives of the municipality at that time. We've had over 90 different public meetings and, and forums uh, since that time where we've talked about the Vision in Motion project. Um, it's been presented and discussed at council meetings at least 13 times uh, since that time. And of course, there's a, a, a municipal assessment and consultation that's underway today for one aspect of, of the project as well. So there's been a lot of uh, different forms of consultation and, and discussion about the uh, project in the community. At the completion of this project, Kamika will occupy about 20% less area uh, than we occupy today on, on the waterfront area. That's about seven acres of land that is returned and, and becomes available to the public uh, to use for, for whatever uh, purpose and design that the municipality and the community choose to use. The community support overall that Kamika receives is outstanding. We've had uh, between 80 to 90% overall uh, community support uh, for about the last 10 years. And that's very important to us. We work very hard uh, to be transparent, to be involved in different ways with the community. I love this plant and I love the people that we have here in the community. And I want to see this plant operate, uh, continue to operate safely uh, for the community uh, and for the good work that Cameco does here for many, many years in the future. And this project allows us to do that.